Hey, welcome back to the Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us for our final episode on patients with thermal burn injuries. And today, the big pitfall where crews fall down in the treatment of these patients, and that is keeping them warm, thermoregulation. First of all, why is this so important? We know that patients with serious thermal burn injuries, if they get cold, their mortality goes through the roof. And as paramedics working in the community, our big core business is trying to decrease mortality and morbidity in that community. So we need to be aware of that. Second of all, just due to the nature of the actual thermal burn injury, these patients lose heat to their environment really, really easily. So that makes it an even greater challenge to actually keep them warm. That's the first thing. Second thing, how do we actually do that in practice when we're caring for these patients? The first thing is obviously, we usually irrigate these patients just to take some of that heat out of the thermal injury. That means they're often in wet clothes. They need to be out of those clothes. They need to be warm and they need to be dry. If they're not dry, it's gonna be very hard to keep them warm. And the second way that I think we really need to do this is we really need to consider the environment we're working in. Is it a cold day out? Are we working in an air-conditioned ambulance? We need to take steps to really avoid heat loss to that environment. And heat loss to that environment means on scene when we're treating the patient, when we're extricating the patient and also when we're transporting the patient. We need to take all steps, all appropriate steps to actually make sure that heat loss doesn't happen for the welfare of the patient to improve their mortality rates. It's been Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us. Find us on social media. We'll see you next time.